came down here to stop doing cocaine. That is some dumb shit. Yeah. All I had in Indiana was crack cocaine. So, you know. Ah, man, it's good to be here. I like doing comedy. I like rappers, man. I like how rappers get their show started. They're just like, who the fuck's drinking tonight? That's right. Okay. We almost, I almost lost you there. They'll do this. They'll be like, who's doing drugs tonight? But I was always thinking, like, what if there was, like, a super enlightened, conscious, woke rapper? How would he get his show started? Would he just be like, what's up, motherfuckers? Who the fuck meditated today? Who the fuck ate three well-balanced meals and called their mom this week? You know? I wish I was Spanish, man. That way I wouldn't have to call my mom because she'd still live with me. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not being racist. I think it's awesome how Spanish people are tight-knit. White people, we are fucked up, man. I will give you an example. My father was visiting me because he lives in Indiana. That's why I had to get out of there. And uh, we were talking, and he was like, I think your mom's gay. And I was like, I do not want to be having this conversation right now. If I was on a game show 20 years ago called Conversations I'm Gonna Have With My Dad, I would have not picked is mom gay for $500, you know? But here we are having this conversation. My dad called me the other day and uh, I love my dad, you know, mostly just because he gives me an unlimited supply of uh, material for my stand-up, you know? And uh, he called me the other day, he found out about this thing called microdosing. You guys ever heard of that? Yeah, my dad calls me, he's like, hey Danny, what's your opinion on LSD? Which I thought was weird because when I lived with him, his opinion was, Danny, why are you tripping balls at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday morning? You can't live here. But I guess now that we're adults, we can have this conversation. I was like, you know, I think it's a great drug. It opens up your mind. Bill Gates did it. Steve Jobs did it. Kind of wish mom would do it. Um, so he told me what he was going to do. He's like, Danny, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy Xanax off the street. And I'm going to crush it up and slip it into your mother's coffee for two weeks. That way, maybe she'll be a better person. I was like, Dad, Dad, you can't do that. That's not microdosing. That's the reason Bill Cosby's in jail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, buckle in for this next one. My family gets weirder, okay? Um, my family gets weirder. I visited my buddy in L.A. last year, and uh, I went out there to visit him. It was the first time I was in Los Angeles since I smoked meth there in 2012. And uh, so I was happy to be back. You know, I was happy to be back in the... Uh, Methotopia, and um, I was visiting my buddy, and he was like, hey man, you gotta check this new diet out. It's called no fat. It's like keto, but instead of avoiding carbs, you just avoid coming. So basically, he was like, you just gotta not jerk off and not have sex for extended periods of time. There's supposed to be all these health benefits, like mental clarity, and uh, you know, increases your drive. And uh, he's like, if you don't believe me, go on Reddit, there's a subthread, it's called no fat. So I went on there and there was a bunch of just lonely, sad, white men talking about how they don't jerk off anymore. And it was really sad. So naturally I joined, got my username, it's like no meat beat streak, 69. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, he's on there. He's on no fat with me. Yeah, good times. Um, so anyhow, I've had to quit a lot of things in my life, right? I had to quit drinking when I was younger. I had to quit doing drugs because I think that ecstasy is a party drug, but everyone else at my nephew's fourth birthday party does it. You know what I mean? Just be raving to the Frozen soundtrack, be like, yeah, this shit slaps, bro. Put my hands in the cake, be like, ah, oh, it feels so good. Oh, man. But uh, having to quit jerking off, that just seems like a gay pyramid scheme to me. So I recruited my older brother, so now me and my older brother text each other about our dicks and whether or not we came this week, so. I don't think life can get any weirder for me at this point. They like that. They like that joke over there. You gotta look around, man. I haven't been looking around enough. You guys good? Hell yeah. You liking the, the not jerking off jokes? This is your speed? Should I go back to the cocaine stuff? Whatever, whatever floats my boat, just gonna speak my, tro my truth in 2020. Oh man, listen, uh, I'm glad that I don't watch porn anymore though because I'm an adult, right? And I used to like watching slutty nurse porn. You guys ever watch that? It takes the worst thing in the world going to the doctor's office 
and combines it with the best thing in the world, getting a blowjob. But now that I'm an adult and I pay for my own health insurance, I can't really enjoy it anymore. You know, I'll just be trying to get into it, put myself in the situation, some guy's in there because his elbow's broken, the nurse starts blowing him, and my mind just starts to wander. I'm like, the copay on this visit is gonna be ridiculous. I just don't I just don't know what draining his balls has to do with his broken elbow. He's definitely gonna need a second opinion. You know, his boss probably gave him so much shit for having this appointment during the day. Yeah. Is she even licensed to do that? Um, but listen, like JJ was saying, I uh, I used to deal drugs. That was actually true. He didn't know that. But I did. I used to deal drugs and now that I don't deal drugs anymore, I still uh I still feel like I think like a drug dealer. Like the other day I was driving down the street, right? And I was speeding. And uh, I was getting pulled over and that old paranoia crept in. And there was a voice in my head that was like, quick, shove it in your ass. But there weren't any drugs in the car. So I just started shoving like Tic Tacs and my CD player and just whatever I could find, you know? And, um, you know, I think that's how I got into that, you know? Because when I'm out there fucking, which I know might come as a surprise to some of you because I know I give off the sexual energy of an encyclopedia, but mm -hmm. every once, you know, two years or so, I do fuck, and I enjoy a finger in the butt, you know? Honestly, I can't come unless it feels like I have an eight ball of cocaine in my asshole, you know? That's a doozy, that's a doozy way to end, but listen, JJ brought me up that way, so I gotta end with the same energy, you know? So give it up for JJ, give it up for whatever Adderall he